Factor 22 weather. And a chilly evening underway in Savannah. This is the view from our Skyview 22 camera at the Homewood Suites on the river. Right now it's in the 40s. WJCL's chief meteorologist Jeremy Nelson standing by. And Jeremy, it may be cold, but there's a reason still to head to the beach this evening, right? Yeah, if you head to the beach this evening, whether it be Hilton Head or Tybee or any place in between, you'll get a great view of the Atlas 5 launch that's launching this evening from Cape Canaveral, Florida. They're already going through some of the, the pre launch pre-launch countdown, so it looks like it's still on schedule to launch at 752 this evening. If you're headed out anywhere, dress warm, layer up, temperatures will be into the 30s. You need a clear view down to the south, and you should be able to see this. I was out about 10 days ago and saw the SpaceX launch very clearly from Tybee Island, and if you happen to be out there, let us know what you see. All right, here's the hour by hour numbers out on Tybee this evening. As we go overnight, we'll be looking at temperatures that could be dipping below freezing at times. We have our actual temp for Tybee bottoming out at about 29 degrees by morning. A cold night certainly layer up and this goes all the way into tomorrow morning. Let's talk about the forecast low temperatures tonight. The furnace will be working overtime once again. Our friends out in Vidalia 25 degrees, 27 in Jessup. Reedsville 25 and you'll get the clear theme here. Everyone in the 20s tonight. Darien at 27, Ludowici at 26 degrees. We go for our friends in Bullock County, Statesboro 24, Sylvania also to the mid 20s, Rinkin at 24 degrees, Savannah 25. We were all the way down to 23 early this morning, 29 out in Tybee and 27 for Skidaway. Our friends on Hilton Head over toward Bluffton, mid to upper 20s and about 27 in Beaufort. Current temperatures 43 degrees in Savannah with 42 in Charleston. Some parts of North Carolina where that fresh snowpack was on the ground did not even make it out of the 30s for daytime highs this afternoon. We're a little bit warmer on Friday. We'll go 59 degrees, cool and sunny. That sunshine, though, that certainly feels great. And as we go into the weekend, a little milder west to southwest breeze will try to take hold. 63 degrees on Saturday and should be even a few degrees warmer as we go into the back half of the weekend. So mid 60s on Sunday, a mix of sun and clouds. Any type of rain should be holding off until likely late Monday or into early Tuesday. Now we have the resolution runs the 5 10 K this weekend in Richmond Hill and for runners. This is pretty good weather a bit on the cool side early on. This starts off at 9 a.m. Full sunshine, light winds 10 a.m. 45 degrees. And as things wrap up, that's when we really start to warm things up. And by afternoon, it should be into the 60s in basically all locations, unless you are right at the beach, whether it be Tybee or Hilton Head. Warming trend for the weekend includes sunny to partly cloudy skies. We're near freezing Saturday morning, but then by Sunday morning, we start to start our overnight low temperatures, which are a little more typical for this time of year. 38 degrees is the average low and we will jump above average for highs and lows early next week. Just a slight chance of a couple showers come in likely late Monday into early Tuesday. Back to